What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about our fire protection system. So for this video, we are going to continue creating our piping here. So let's finish up our connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to this area here. And then you see I have here an elbow T an elbow fitting right so what i want to do is i want to convert this to a t fittings okay so to do that i'm going to select this and then after that you see there's a plus icon there right so if i click this plus icon here so it will create a t, t fitting at this direction here like that okay so if i click that again you see it becomes minus so you can click that it will become elbow again if for some reason you want to create a pipe connection here so you can select this elbow and then click this that plus and then you'll be able to create a pipe on that direction but for this one i'm going to make the direction of my t this direction here so this is the t fitting i want to create a pipes here that will connect these sprinklers here on my corridor so what i want to do is i want to add these sprinklers here these nine sprinklers so one two three four five six seven eight nine sprinklers to our system so if i go back again to my system browser so again these sprinklers here are still in the unassigned fold so uh, an assigned uh, folder so they are not yet assigned to any uh, system so what i want to do is i want that to be added to the system that we have created here which is if i click one of the sprinkler here which is uh, this one here it highlights this one let's expand that one let's expand so this is the system that we created so what we want to do we want to add the nine sprinklers on the corridor to this system here fp wet zone 2 okay so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select one of the sprinklers that is already part of the system that we created okay so let's say I'll, i i click this sprinkler here okay and then you see there's a piping systems tab okay so you click that tab and then after that we can select here edit system so if you click edit system you will be able to add an element to the system so by default add to system is already selected so we just need to select the element that we want to add to the system or the sprinklers so i want to add these sprinklers three six i can also pick one by one if i want there you go so i just added these nine sprinklers to our system so let's select here finish editing system so that's it so that's how you add an element to a system okay so if i select this system now and then check the properties so i can see that i now have here 18 elements right so i have nine here nine sprinklers and then i have another nine sprinklers here the total is 18 elements so it's now updated okay so now the next thing that i'm going to do is i want to create or automate the piping system okay so to do that i'm going to select this sprinkler here all right and then after that layout i'm going to select here generate layout let's click that one okay so again revit will show here some of its uh suggestion layout okay so again we can check the settings here just to make sure that this is a fire protection wet nine feet offset for the main and uh branch okay nine feet okay okay so the only issue here is let us change the solution type so i want five of six so that it's straight like that one so this is the perfect uh, layout network five of six there you go and after that just finish layout and there you have it okay 
So it's now connected. Now for the other three sprinklers that we have here, so we want that to be added to the system. So I'm going to select one of the sprinkler that is already part of the system. So maybe this one. And then again, let's go to piping systems, edit system, add to system is already selected by default. So we just need to select the sprinklers and then finish editing system. So now I want to do it um, another approach. So what I wanted to uh, what I want to do is let's see this pipe here. So this pipe the height is nine feet, right? Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to select this and then I'll right click that node there. So right click and then you see there's a draw pipe here. Draw pipe. Okay, and then let's make sure that fire protection wet is selected here. Diameter half inch. Now for the height here, so 10 feet, 6 inches is too high. So let's change that to 9 feet. Okay, and then after that you just need to click that pipe to connect and there you go okay so that's how you do it manually so another way is um, you can click the sprinkler and then you can select here connect into so let's click that connect into and then just select the pipe and it will connect there automatically so let's click connect into and then click again there you go okay so it's now finish so what i want to do is i want to select this area here and then let's select selection box to isolate that in 3d view there you go okay so let's select the section box selection box and then click that side so let us adjust it so i want to see i'm going to zoom in until here and crop it there you go and there you have it so maybe i'm going to select this side again and then i'll adjust here like that all right and then let's change the discipline here so let's change that to coordination so we can see also the architectural model so there you go so there's our sprinkler there connected to our main pipe there you go and let's crop this area here. Oops. There you go. And then one way to check if your system is connected, although this is perfectly all connected, just to make sure you can, uh, let me go back to the floor plan. You can hover your pointer to one of the pipe just hover over do not click just move your pointer over the pipe and then press tab the first time you press your tab it will highlight the branch in a pipe network including the branch objects okay if you press another tab so what happens is it will highlight the pipe network so as you can see they are all connected so if you press tab again it will highlight the piping system so you can click so as you can see, it's selecting the piping system, okay? And then Revit actually automatically um, computed the volume there, okay? There you go. So you just need to hover your pointer, press tab, tab, see it highlights. And then just click to select. There you go. So they're all perfectly connected, okay? So that's it for this video. So hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.